Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Ravenport. We are going to carry straight on from where we left off in the last episode. So let's get to it. I'm going to go back through again. I'm going to get another 700 litres and then that's going to be our full... I, I won't leave the bale, obviously, at the end of the field here. That's going to be right in the way of our harvester to, that will be coming up through. And we don't want to do that. I'm almost done. 300, uh, 700, 650 to go. 600. And we're 97%. It's exciting times. You remember what I said about the, the whole boring bit when you're driving a tractor? And how sometimes when you're in the tractor, those long straight bits. And you can see little things away in the distance. And that's the highlight of your hour. I could imagine that if you're working really, really big fields over long periods of time with a cotton harvester, you'd sort of experience much the same thing every time you got to empty a bale out. That, that would kind of be the thing with the cotton harvesting. I don't plan on doing another large cotton harvest. Not, not in this game. We, we did a large uh, sugar beet harvest in the Estancia Lepacho map when that one first came out, and I did a series on there. Did a large cotton harvest... I'm going to go... Actually, I'm just going to bring that right out like that. We're done. I've done it. There we go. The... I got a... a we, we did the large sugar beet harvest, didn't we? Oh, he's done another full bale. So that one over there is going to have the tiniest little quantity of cotton left inside it. So I'll bring you over here. I'll bring you round a bit. I'll bring you over there. Right, we'll bring you over there like that, and then we will start unloading that bale. We'll press Y to unload. Uh, but yeah, we did sugar, we did sugar cane harvest in the Estancia Lapacho map. Right, if I start driving that one forward like that, there, it doesn't scuff the bale up big time, does it? Um, and in the Estancia Lapacho map, we like it was great having the sugar cane but my goodness me that ended up being a tedious task didn't it we we tried all sorts we couldn't get course play to work on it and we, we sort of tried i tried various different methods of getting the hired help to sort of help out a bit with it it's just it still ended up being just a really tedious task and it was it definitely wasn't like something that i would want to do again I mean, yeah, it was great doing it, but it's not something that I'd want to repeat. Now, this one coming down here. I got another harvester working on the other side of this bit. I'll put I has completed the task. This one, we've now got three harvesters working on this section. This one's got the two harvesters again. You're parked up, not doing anything. And then I got a strip over there. That is done. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to use this one. That's the other one. And you're going up across there. You're going across there. You're going up across the middle. Wait, where is, where's the one that stopped? Not you. Ah, this one. Right. He's only got 500 litres of cotton on board. So I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to use this one to start working on the other side of that bit of field down there. That's where we want this one to go. And that should then finish that bit up. And that's all the rest of it. Like, there's the odd little tiny, tiny patch of cotton that's been left here and there on the very edges. But it's not enough to warrant me going over to actually go and collect them. So I'm not going to concern myself with that in the slightest. What we're going to do, as soon as I put this one going so we can get a slightly bigger bale. Next thing we want to do is we want to get our truck. Yeah, so you're, you're on your way. We're going to go and get our truck. And we're going to drive that up to the dealership. So that we can get ourselves and go all the way through these. I'll leave that. There's one harvester there. Get you. Take up the dealership. And we're going to get the actual cotton uh, module collector. There's the small trailer that you can use. You can put that one behind a tractor and you can like group them up. And then you've got one that goes behind the truck. And that's the one that I want to use. I want to use the one that goes behind the truck. And I want to gather all of the cotton bales. And I want to put them all into like one location. And when we've done that bit, then I want to come back down here and I want to get our big auto load trailer that we've got there and get the whole, like, load up quite a few of them. And then if we can, get a telehandler and stack more of them up on top still. 
So we'll end up with a huge number of bales, I'm hoping, up on our trailer. Our cotton technology is the module X right there, which will take two bales. So we will buy that bad boy right there, just like that. And then we can go and use that one. And we'll run that one up to the field and start gathering up all the bales now and putting them into a great big heap. Then once we've done that, we can go and get our autoload trailer and we can run that one up there and then we can start loading up the bales. If we can, we will be putting all of the bales onto a single trailer. However, we do have rather a lot of bales up here, so this may not necessarily be the easiest thing to go and do. It's, it's sort of a... It's a wait-and-see situation. We'll see how many we can load onto the autoload trailer for a start. And then we've also got to see how many, you know, where, well, not how many. It's just whether or not we can actually stack them up or not. Because, and if we can stack them up, that would be absolutely brilliant. But on the other hand, we may not even be able to stack them. And if we can't do that, then this whole idea is sort of out the window and we'll just have to uh, do a few at a time. Operating this trailer is fairly simple. You simply got an operating position and then a, 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 a not operating pos position. It's, it's that simple. There's nothing particularly complicated about it. We've got four bales over here. So we'll grab these four first and we'll take them back over to the other side. And I'll go to there like that. You, you don't have to get it like 100% close. Just got to get it roughly close like that. Stuffs them right up to the front. If you take them over to the cell point with the bales in like this, it does a very strange thing where it unloads both the bales together and it sort of does them as a single entity. And then if you've only got one of the bales in the, um, in the unloading zone when they've been fully ejected from the trailer, it still treats them as though they are one solid bale between the two of them. If you've only got the one there, it still treats them like there's two bales. And so what you end up with is like just a, one little bit, and then it, it sells it all together as like a single bale. Now, ordinarily, whoop, 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 steady. Uh, ordinarily, that wouldn't make any difference to anything whatsoever. It, it, it would make no, like, it, it would have no effect on anything at all. However, when it comes to uh, doing a mission, and you're selling stuff via a mission, I think it's Y to unload. It is Y to unload. When you're doing stuff with a mission, and you're selling via a mission right there, um, it, see, it locks the two of them together, but it also counts the bales as one bale. And now they've separated out, but only after they've landed on the floor. Now, I suppose, really, I should have been driving forward as I was doing that. But you know with the mission when they you sell an item with the, the mission and then when you've got a little bit extra left over it uh, allows you to sell that separately? With the bales, the cotton bales, if you've got everything as one cotton bale it doesn't sort of take part of the cotton bale and use it to complete the mission and the other part of the cotton bale to say right yep that's, that's great this is your extra bonus. It takes the whole lot as one bale and sells it um, just for the mission being completed. So if you want, if you've got two bales, like one of them's a part bale and one of them is a complete bale. And you want to sell the complete bale so that then you can use the part bale. You're 90% certain that one complete bale will finish your mission completely, 100%. Um, you need to unload away from the sell point so that the bales come out separately and then uh, move one bale, the, the full bale, into the cell point. If you try and unload over the cell point so only one of them is like actually over the cell point, you'll end up accidentally selling uh, both of them together as a single entity and you won't get that extra bonus for the cotton that you get like when you're, you're selling stuff in your, um, your missions. So it's something that's worth taking note of and, and remembering when you're doing stuff now we've got helper a and helper d are blocked by objects i'm going to assume 
help A, and I should have gone the other way. Right, it's not you, it's not you, it's not you. No. Yeah, that would do it. That would just about do it. So if I stop you there, I'll back you up like this and let that one finish off. We've got a half a cotton bale right here. I'm, I'm going to unload this one just right here. I'm not going to bother doing anything different with it. And the other one is reversing up for no apparent reason whatsoever. So I'm going to turn that one off and I'm going to unload that one. That one's out. Right, that can fold back up again. And then I'll go... Oh, here we go. There's that one. You can fold back up again and you can go forward. You can stop now. We're not going to worry about you doing anything else. Because we're still picking up cotton bales. So we're, we're going to be a little while picking those up. Uh, that one's hairing up across the field. It's doing fine. And then we're back to you. So we press Y and start unloading. And this time I'm going to drive forward as we unload. Sort of a bit more how you would expect it to be done. Go up a little bit there. But you can see there, both those bales are joined together. And then it like pops them apart. It's, very, it's a little bit strange the way it does that. It is a little bit odd, it doing it like that. Sort of popping them apart like that and then shoving them out. You'd sort of think that they would be able to be done as separate entities. I, I know that sometimes the game does weird things with how it makes um, different entities work but um, yeah so I, I'm not it's, it's obviously something to do with that but I'm not entirely sure what and why and, and so on and so forth straighten that one up I tell you what I, I, I'd like to do it like this <laughs> okay that was a little bit weird um, I'd like to do it like this with the unloading but at the same time I'm sort of thinking that um, it could take quite a while to do this, right? It really could take quite a while to do this. You are going down the wrong side over there. Um, that one right there. I'm going to stop that one a minute. And I'm going to move this one over. And we're going to go and start traveling down this other side. And then I'm hoping that what's left will be picked up by that other cotton harvester and then these strips here will be finished off by this one and the one next to it. Helper F and E, they've done the same. They've come to the end of their field, just about. So that one can run up through there. And then that one's done. You're going up through and I think that one will work quite nicely with three strips up and down. That'll uh, do, do very well. You're done. You're coming along. You've got a little bit to do still. And that's going to be all finished. Just that little bit right there. So I can manually do that a minute. This one's got 86% full. So it's almost a full bale. So I'll just manually do this. And then I can grab that little tiny patch that's left over there as well. And there we go. There's that bit. And then we go racing up across here. And grab that little bit right there. Is there any more? You see any more little tiny patches? There's, there's a little thin strip there. You are. I'm not even going to bother with that. Not even going to bother with it. There's another bale over here. So I'll empty out here. Sort of close to that one. I got two there. I got two here. Two over there. Just the other side. It'll take care of them. We'll leave that down there like that. And then start folding you up again. Go on. Now he's folding up. Right. That's that one done. I suppose really I ought to go through some of these. And if I go to you. Okay. So you're on your way through. You're done. I can unfold all of that. And you're done. You're, you're already unfolded. That is the unfolded position. Yeah. There, unfold that one. You are... Yeah, you will, You got another couple of passes. So unfold that one there. And then go to... We're back over to this one. Right, so we got one bale in here. We're just going to pick up that bale right there. Pick up this trailer again. 
I reckon that we're only going to get six bales onto our... Uh, oh, there we go. It's, it, it, <laughs> it does pick him up a little bit strangely, doesn't it? Um, but then I'm, I'm not driving into that all that accurately. So, as most of you know by now, Seasons is on its way. We are very, very soon going to be starting some Seasons gameplay. And what I'm hoping is that we, we've got very little left of this. We just need to finish this up and then we're going to go and have a look at the round baler and uh, not the round baler, the small square baler and then we're done. That is this map completed. That, that's, that's everything that we wanted to do in this series. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be moving on to the next one and the big question is are we going to be doing that with sort of just as it is or am I going to be going to Felsbrunn first? Now, I asked you this before and most of you seem to think that going to Felsbrunn first for a couple of weeks would probably be a good idea. Um, I'm not necessarily going to do that. Um, yes, it would be a good idea to go and do something like that and do do like the, the Felsbrunn stuff first. However, um, and that's just like to spend a few weeks just looking at seasons and sort of seeing what it's like. There's very little that actually needs to be done to a map to make it ready for uh, seasons. To like fully be ready. There's, there's a couple of little bits with the masks uh, for snow and then there's something else that's got to be done for getting the rot in place. And there's not... Um, doesn't look like it's very much different to how things used to be done for seasons in FS17. So somebody has said, I'm not going to say who it is at the moment because they may not want their name shared, but somebody has said that the map that we're planning to go to, um, the, the Northwest Alps something, that they are quite happy to go along and convert that map over to... Uh, yeah, get it all so that all of the seasons features should be available on that map um so they're going to do that now if they do obviously i won't be releasing that map because if it's been edited for just me then it's not something that i'll be releasing out for everybody um this save game i will upload this save game file and leave it for people to have a look at uh, but if that is done, if, if this conversion of the map that we're planning to go to is done before we actually need it, uh, absolutely fantastic, that'd be brilliant, we will start using, we will go straight onto that map, we won't bother about um, going to Felsbrunn in between times, and we can start working away on that map, and we will combine the very large scale series that we want to start doing with the, uh, with the first sort of uh, seasons episodes that we want to do as well and then we'll be able to make the decision do we stick almost permanently with seasons on our maps or do we go over to uh, sometimes using seasons and sometimes not I ended up with one of the series that I did last time being a hundred percent why is he still going across the field like honestly he's reversing across the field yeah Obviously, he feels that he's missed something. But there's nothing up there. So why has he reversed all the way across the field and gotten all the way up this side? Uh, that, 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 that doesn't help anybody. It's not going to benefit anything or anybody. Why? Why would you even do that? Why, why would you think that that was something that was a useful thing to go and do? Uh, you know what, I'm just going to press the unload, start unloading it here. I've got two down that end, I've got two there, and I've got two there. I don't think I've got any more anywhere else. So we'll leave that one right there. And then I'll fold that one up. There we go. Right, that one's folding up, and I'll also do that as well. So that one unfolds. Excellent. Right. Now, we've got that one. These two are still working. They're doing a great job. You're all doing great jobs. That one there is almost done. And then everything over in this other field is done. So we're going to go back to you. And I will grab these bales right here. And we'll run those back down. And then we're going next run. We will get those two up there. 
So I'll bring you over this side like that. Back you up there. Right, there's one. And then I'm going to leave it up in the air for this. Probably not the best way to go about doing it, but it's what I'm doing anyway. And then I'll bring you up like that. Straighten you up. And then we will back you up this way. Like that. And in goes the bale. So there's our next load done. We're racing off back down here. We've got quite a few cotton modules there. I think I'm going to start leaving them on this side of the road. So that we've got enough room. Because I don't think we're going to get enough room to be able to load everything properly on uh, that side of the road. And, and sort of have enough room to move things around as well. So if I start unloading them here. Then we can get a telehandler or whatever it is that we're going to use to load them up. And that should be fairly simple then. So I bring those up like that. There we go. Back up we go again. Um, just looking over there, I see right over in the distance to see if the... Oh, he's just... He, he's actually just stopped. Helper G has completed his task and he's just stopped. It's actually quite good. You know, we, we've, we've had someone just finish their job and, and stop like they're supposed to instead of trying to cause trouble. And, and do things wrong and then reverse all the way across the field for no particularly apparent reason. I'm, I'm not really sure what the logic is behind doing something like that. It just doesn't seem... seems completely illogical to me. It, it absolutely does. Spock would be genuinely confused as to why they would do something like that. And as we all know, Spock is... well, Sp Spock is Spock is Spock. It's a, he's, he's just the legend, isn't he? Everybody knows that. Even I know that, and I'm not a Star Trek fan, right? I am. I'm. I'm. I'm not a Star Trek fan. I, uh, uh, well, saying that, see, my. Well, I'm, I'm talking about Star Trek in Farming Simulator. But I'm not going to talk about it very much. I, I've just seen a trailer for the. Um, is it uh, Captain Picard? Um. Thing is, Captain Picard is—is is that what the the, the the new Star Trek film, anyway, that's got him in it? I've seen the trailer for it, and I'm not a Star Trek fan, but my goodness me, that film looks amazing. It really does. So, if it, even if you're not a Star Trek fan, I think you'll get something out of it. If you are a Star Trek fan, chances are you're really gonna get something out of this film. It looks—it really does look genuinely amazing. And um, the number of bales that I'm bringing back over here. I'm starting to think that we are going to have just a teensy tiny little bit more than uh, one trailer load. I suspect that a full trailer would be uh, six cotton modules. That would be my guess, is a full trailer is six cotton modules. It might be eight, but I, I don't think so. I'm sort of trying to remember the size of the trailer. Um, so I'm thinking six cotton modules is full. Let's bring you back there. Is That's, that's not going to be over enough, is it? I need to just uh, go like that. A little, there we go. Right, that's loading up into there. While it's doing that, again, we got this. So if I just press H on there and start you up like that. Literally come right up against each other, hugging each other. 95% full on this cotton bale. That's pretty good. Let's go and grab that little nodule right there. There we go. That's done. And I'll empty that out. I'll stop the actual cotton harvester working. That goes to there. That one's going to slide out. And then... Right, that's done. And... There, I press X as I started folding it down so it all works out beautifully. Perfect. Right, that one's done. And you're done. Oh, I was working on that one. No, I want to go here. You're done. Oh. <laughs> it emptied one out. It's only got 60 litres of cotton. I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother with that one. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to actually um, bother emptying that one out. I'm, I'm, that one's going to stay just as it is. Uh, so we go to our next ones over here. That's the last one going up across the field. That's at 45% full, so that one's fine. 
And the rest of them are all empty. So, yeah, we've got 60 litres of cotton in one that I'm not going to bother with because I don't think it's worth it. Honestly, I don't think it's worth trying to do 60 litres of cotton from that one bale right there. I'll go and grab this one here. And then those two can go back and be unloaded. And then we got one more bale over this side that we want to get. Take that back over to the main load site. Uh, B. Get that into there. Excellent. Right. Now, off we go again. At least we're fairly quick getting them off the field with this. Right? You, there, there's no... You can't really complain about that. It, it is nice and quick getting these off the field. It's actually... Now that I think about it... It's probably only going to be three cotton modules that we can get onto that trailer. Because cotton modules are quite wide, aren't they? I can't see that it's going to be putting two of them side by side. Which means that we're literally just going to be doing three cotton bales in one move. And then we've got to go and get more cotton bales. Uh, I'm not sure I like that, to be honest. That's, gonna, that's, that's a lot of trips back and forth with all the wool. And it auto-sells as well. You don't have a thing where you can pile up all of the wool all in one go. We'll load up what we can. We'll put what we can onto the trailer. That's everything off of this field. So now we can start heading over to the next one and gathering up some of those. There's one little bit right there that's being done. I'll get one of these. Actually, that's going to be... What is that one doing? Is he going to reverse all the way up? If, well, I'll tell you what. If he does reverse all the way up to the other end, uh, it's going to be a little bit less distance for us to have to travel in order to move the rest of the, the bales around. So uh, I'm not going to complain too much about that. Let's put you in. And off we go again. Is there a Hagenstadt map for FS19? Because you had Bjornholm in FS17 as the... No, wait. No. Bjornholm was the FS15 map, wasn't it? Goldcrest and... What was the second one? Goldcrest. I can't remember what the second map was in... Um, FS17. You had Goldcrest... Oh, Sosnyovka. Sosnyovka was the other one. So, you had Goldcrest and Sosnyovka in our last version of the game. The previous version of the game in FS15 was Bjornholm and... Uh, was that Westbridge Hills? Did they use Westbridge Hills as the second one? Because I that's one map that I never really played. I did a little tiny bit on there. But I didn't really play anything on the Westbridge map. Um, didn't appeal to me. And then prior to that in FS13, you had the Hagenstedt map, didn't you? That was when uh, the Hagenstedt map was in. Is there a Hagenstedt map that has been converted over? Uh, but I don't just mean like a, a couple of things changed in a file somewhere. I mean like converted over well. Is there a version for FS19? Because I believe there was a version done for FS17, wasn't there? And I actually, like, I spent a lot of time playing. That was back when I played the game for myself. Like, I, I, I played quite a lot of Farming Simulator um, before I ever started recording videos back in FS13. And I, I spent a lot of time playing on that map. And I was just thinking about the bits up by the golf course and... Um, stuff like that, sort of up around the top of the map up there. And all of the small fields and that. And I was kind of thinking it might be quite cool to try and do a series on that old map. Well, there we go, folks. I'm afraid that's it. We've run out of time, which means that we need to head on home. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.